The AmbiDry Verge systems provide a neat, maintenance-free verge for Cambrian slates. With very high resistance to storm damage and with no wet trades required, it removes concerns about mortar failure. Set out the roof in the normal manner, ensuring the tiling battens extend 50mm beyond the outer edge of the brickwork or barge board. Position the eaves closure unit in a verge unit as shown, with the face printed top on the upper side. Ensure the slot of the eaves closure unit engages into the end of the verge unit and the lower edge clicks into position. The eaves clip is positioned into the slot in the eaves stop end. Position the verge eaves unit in place ensuring the tiling battens fit in the box section of the verge unit and nail the eaves clip to the fascia using 25mm galvanised clout nails ensuring the unit is tight against the verge. Push an ambidry verge clip through the upper slot on the side of the verge unit and fix to the batten using a 25mm long galvanised clout nail. Snap off the bottom upstand return portion of each verge unit to form either left or right hand units. The portion to snap is indicated on the inside of the verge unit. Subsequent units are offered up ensuring they cover the previous clip. The verge unit is then slid over the unit below. It is important to ensure the lugs engage on the top and the bottom and the box section fits over the batten. The unit is secured with an ambi dry verge clip. The rest of the verge is completed in a similar manner. Attach the ridge comb units to the top verge unit and insert a ridge clip facing downwards. Fix to the top tiling batten using a 25mm long galvanised clout nail. Install the tiles into the verge units, cutting verge tiles only where necessary. The verge is finished with a universal angle or half round block end ridge to cover the interlocking ridge combs. For more information and detailed fixing instructions, please visit the Redland website at www.redland.co.uk